Considering getting online using the EE Smart 5G Hub, today we'll be reviewing EE 5G Home Broadband to see if it's any good based on its download and upload speeds, Wi-Fi performance, value for money and more. But before we begin, thanks to National Broadband for sponsoring this video. They offer a 5G internet service that can hook into any of the big four networks, potentially allowing you to access EE 5G broadband for cheaper, with really good customer service, no mid-contract price rises, and a 14-day money-back guarantee. So click the link in the description to the National Broadband website and fill out the form here to see if you can get their 5G broadband service at your address. So EE currently sells a 5G router called the Smart 5G Hub paired with two different data plans. When you buy, you'll get the router shipped in the mail along with a data SIM card you can use it with. Once you set everything up, which we'll explain how to do in the next section. The router will connect to EE 5G or 4G if it can't pick up 5G to establish an internet connection just like your phone does. Then the router creates a Wi-Fi hotspot you can use to get online just like any other Wi-Fi router. The router itself comes with two Ethernet ports but there are no external antenna ports and it's also worth mentioning it's quite big. It's a really tall router which is worth keeping in mind if you want to travel with it. You can use this router anywhere in the UK with good EE mobile signal, but it does need to be plugged into mains power at all times. If you want a more portable solution, 3 has a 5G mobile broadband device that comes with a battery rather than plugging into mains power. So we've linked to their 5G MiFi deals in the description. Getting set up with the Smart 5G Hub is quite straightforward. The first thing to do is punch out the SIM card. You want the smallest size available, also known as a nano SIM. Then turn the router over and open the SIM slot on the base and insert the SIM card with the cut corner facing the left as shown here. Then you can plug the router into power using the included USB-C cable. Then press the power button and it'll begin setting itself up and connect to the 5G network, allowing you to get online. When it's ready, the light on the front will turn turquoise, and you can connect to Wi-Fi using the login details printed on the base of the router. But there's one more step you might want to take before you begin using EE 5G Home Broadband, and that's optimizing the router position. You just want to make sure the router is in a good spot where it can pick up strong 5G signal to ensure you're getting the best possible speeds. To do this, you can use our Signal Checker app for Android, which we've linked in the description. If you put your EE SIM in your phone, you can use the app to see where you normally get the strongest signal. Normally, this is going to be an upstairs windowsill, but it can vary depending on where you live. So using the app, you can normally find a few good spots to test the router. So try set it up in these locations and do some speed tests to see which is best. So what download and upload speeds can you expect with EE 5G Home Broadband? It depends a bit on the EE signal at your address, but in our case, we were normally getting download speeds of about 350 to 450 megabits per second, which is pretty good, and upload speeds of about 5 to 10 Mbps, although this was faster over Ethernet. So if you have strong signal, EE 5G Broadband can offer fast download speeds. But there is a problem you have to be aware of. When you buy this 5G router, you can only get it on a long-term contract, and EE doesn't do any verification of how strong your signal is when buying, which isn't great in our opinion. With National Broadband, for example, they'll check your address when you buy to make sure you'll get good signal and speeds, and they also have a money-back guarantee, which isn't available from EE. And with the 3 5G Hub, which is their 5G home broadband product, they check your postcode when you buy to make sure you get good speeds. And there's a 30 day return policy as well. So if you're looking for more certainty around the speeds that you'll get, we've linked to National Broadband and the 3 5G Hub in the description so you can compare them to EE Home Broadband at the moment. The 5G router that EE ships when you buy 5G Home Broadband from them is one of the few options on the market that comes with Wi-Fi 7. This is the latest Wi-Fi standard and it's quite rare to see from a 5G router. As a result, using this device, we had no problems getting good Wi-Fi signal throughout a four bedroom, two story house. And even at very long range from the router, we were still getting download speeds of 350 or more megabits per second, which is really good, especially considering we put the router on a windowsill upstairs in a corner of the house so it could pick up the best 5G signal. So if you have a slightly larger house, 
and want to make sure you get good Wi-Fi, 3 5G broadband works well for this. The biggest downside to EE 5G broadband is definitely what it costs. At the moment, it starts at £45 a month, or £50 if you want unlimited data, with a £4 a year price increase, and a pretty large upfront cost, given that you're getting the router on a long-term contract. National Broadband 5G Internet is currently a fair bit cheaper than this, with no mid-contract price rises, even though they can still offer access to the EE network, and generally have much better customer service. Not to mention, as we touched on before, EE doesn't check your 5G signal before you buy, even just by looking at your postcode, and there's no money back guarantee on these plans, which isn't the case with national broadband. So even though it does offer good speeds, we think EE 5G broadband is a bit expensive for what it is at the moment. So if you do want to get online using EE 5G, click the link in the description to the national broadband website and fill out this form here to see if they service your address at the moment. EE 5G broadband offers good download speeds and Wi-Fi signal, but it's not great value for money at the moment, and we wish they'd help you check your postcode 5G signal for 5G broadband suitability when you buy 5G broadband on their website, or at least offer a return policy, so you can test out their 5G internet service at your address before you commit to a long-term contract. If you want to get online at home using EE 5G, National Broadband is generally a better option at the moment. So we've linked to them in the description if you want to check them out. And if you have any questions about EE 5G home broadband, or about choosing a provider more broadly, let us know in the comments below, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.